Hey friends, Mr. Mill here and welcome to the Draw Mill. Today I'm going to teach you guys how to draw cute dogs. Um, I'm going to draw a couple. Um, this is my distant, my generic one. So you start off with the ear. And you can see I drew um, the back of the body and then it leads to the tail. I drew the back foot and then I drew the bottom of the body and then um, I started off with that. So you can see the, the legs are a little bit chubby. Um, and then I'm fixing the head a little bit because I messed up on the ear. And that's okay. That's what I did with the red uh, pen first. And then I'm going to emphasize it with the... Uh, black marker you see um, the feet are kind of easy that's why you gotta make them nice and stubby like that and then hopefully it'll make it look like a short dog so that's one uh, dog right there um, let me just draw another one so this time I'm gonna switch off uh, to a blue card pencil see how this looks like and it looks like I'm gonna make this one standing up um, or not standing up or I at least it's on its uh, rear hind feet I guess I don't know I'm just gonna be begging for food or something um, as you can see I start off with the generic shapes of it and then I start to outline the uh, the figure with black marker. And you always want to do this for anything that you're drawing. Um, you always want to uh, try to find the generic shapes in your drawings. And that way, um, um, anything really has generic shapes. We have generic shapes, animals have generic shapes, even the buildings and other objects. And you always want to start with that. Uh, so I'm not going to discuss too much in detail of how this one was drawn. But the main focus was just to discuss um, that anything and everything has certain shapes that you need to look for. Um, all right, so this one starts with an oval shape. Um, I'm trying to sketch out the body of what this one's going to look like. It's going to be a side profile of a dog. Um, there it is. A little more short dog. Looks like it's a little more realistic, it looks like. And it's going to be turned uh, three quarters of a view, meaning it's uh, being seen at an angle. That's why you can see uh, a little bit of its chest. So I'm going to do a little uh, nice fluffy tail. I add some contour to the back and the tail as well. And here's his back foot. I guess you can see I have some more detail in the toe area. Um, you can't really see the back of the foot, that's why the back of the foot is a little more smaller and also to show depth. Um, then I'll, I'm doing the uh, chest right now, along, and then I always save the head for last, that way um, I can figure out what's going on. I shouldn't have used permanent marker for the head just quite yet because I didn't have the details refined yet. Um, but it turned out pretty well, that's it. Um, Alright, so I'm going to do another dog, this is the fourth one. I'm going to have this one a little bit more cute, a little more anime style. This one's going to be laying on a pillow. That's why I did the pillow in a blue and then I'm doing the dog in a red to distinguish the two. Um, as you can see, I did with the paw first. Paws facing forward, that's why, ha that's why it looks like a sideways bubble E. And then, I'm doing the head, make sure the, ch uh, the cheek, it looks like the cheek's like uh, being smushed by this hand. And that's easy to do because you just have to have the paw covering up the front of the head. So that's that one. Alright, so this last one is pretty simple. Um, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to try to figure out the shape of it. So I'm going to draw a small circle. And then I have these two paws sitting on the front. Same thing again uh, with that bubble E uh, facing sideways. You guys can take a look at that. And then the nose is going to be in the middle, just like this. Make sure it has little loops on the side. That way it looks more realistic. I did some freckles for the nose, a uh, little uh, frizzle, frizzle for the hair, I guess. And then the ears are going to be uh, pointing a little bit down. And that way, um, I don't know, so it looks like it's drooping over the, uh, the paws. And then, let's see, I'm going to do the eyes, make it look like it's sleeping. That's why it's a... Uh, a curved down you. Actually, no, it's not going to be sleeping. Sorry. <laughs> I guess we're going to do one eye open, I guess. I should have done both eyes closed, though. So I don't know why I did that. Uh, and then a little cartoon flavor right there. So that's basically it. Those are the uh, one, two, three, four, five dogs I just drew. I'm going to be outlining this one a little bit. Um, I don't think I'm going to. Yeah, it looks like I kept it open. Oh, well. <laughs> it's funny rewatching these videos because you kind of see what I, I would have changed. Uh, when I'm talking. But that's basically it. That's how I do all those dogs. Um, if you like this video, please subscribe. Um, if you really like this video, <laughs> give me a thumbs up. And as always, see you next time. Um, oh, looks like I'm still drawing. Anyways, <laughs> oh jeez. Alright, looks like I'm still outlining these dogs. Um, Alright, now I'm done. Anyways, <laughs> thanks for watching and uh, hope to see you in the next one.